Hello guys, I've been working with the grease pencil for painting and creating 2D animations with Blender 2.79 and in this first video I will show you how to set up the environment to use this feature. When I open Blender I have the following screen layout, this is my default. Now let me enable the screencast keys so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. And the first thing I do is to reset the rotation and location for my camera, pressing Alt R and Alt G, then I rotate it 90 degrees around the X axis and move it backwards. When I press the zero key on my numpad then you can see the view through my camera onto a 2D scene that we can create by using the crease pencil. Ok, after that I'm going to create a new screen layout, press this little plus icon and call this new screen layout GP for crease pencil. Then I activate the Grease Pencil tab, you can see here all the brushes that you can use. And I enable the Continuous Drawing. This means when you press the D key and draw onto your surface, this mode, this draw mode isn't reset all the time. Ok, now I create a new window. Drag this out here. Switch to the Dope Sheet and set it to Grease Pencil so that I can see the frames for my Grease Pencil layers. As you can see I kept the toolbar for the timeline active so that I can set the start and end frames for my animations easily. On the right side in the properties panel that you can activate by pressing the end key by the way I create a new layer for the crease pencil now. I like to use onion skinning when creating animations with a crease pencil so I increased the values before and after for this feature. I will show you how to use this in one of the next tutorials. Alright, I increased the opacity value for the fill of my strokes so that you can better see the results when I draw. And then I will select a brush, press D and left click onto the canvas to draw. Ok, this is the result of the basic brush. I can also switch to the ink brush for example, which looks a bit more smooth. And here's the result that you can also see in the 3D viewport when rotating it. I have the Pi menu enabled which is included in Blender 2.79 and when you press the tab key you can switch to edit points to edit the shape that you have drawn. You can select the points with the right mouse button and press for example the G key to move around these points but I like to enable proportional editing. Then use the mouse wheel to adjust the size of the affected area and then you can transform your shapes like this. Or select more points and press the G key again or the R key to add rotations to it. All these operations are available for these points. I will go more into detail about these features in one of the next tutorials for the Grease Pencil. Now we'll remove the shape that I've drawn here and then I select File, Save Startup File and then I close Blender. And when I start it again I get the saved layout on Startup and I can press the D key and directly start to draw. Ok guys, that's my setup to use the grease pencil for 2D drawing and animations. If you liked the video please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next part. Thanks for watching this and thanks for supporting me on my Patreon if you already do or would like to do this. See you soon here on JNM.